Hi, I'm Jim Hauser. I'm a golf expert with Curated, and so far I've helped over 3,000 golfers find the right golf clubs. And today, we're talking about the Cobra Forge Tech Iron for 2022. First off, I'm not sponsored by any brands, so these are my personal thoughts and opinions of every club I review. Cobra claims that this club is more forgiving because it's a hollow body. Now, it is designed like a muscle back forged blade because it's hollow and it has micro spheres inside the club. As you can see, there's a port here. It's very forgiving. And I just hit this club and it is what they claim it is. So with this Cobra Forge Tech that I hit today, it is um, a seven iron. It came with the KBS S Taper light shaft. My first impression of the club is that it looked like a blade. It looks like a player's iron, but it really has the feel of a game improvement iron. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. So Cobra's made this club with a forged power shell face, which makes the club particularly forgiving. They've also, of course, made it hollow, as we've talked about and they've added tungsten to make the club much more forgiving and increase the moment of inertia of the club. I found the club's distance was very good. Um, in fact, we're hitting into a pretty strong wind and almost getting normal distances. So uh, the lofts are a little bit strong, but that works because they put the tungsten low in the head and it can launch the ball higher with the stronger lofts, it goes further than a, a lot of irons that are like this. So the distance claims seem to be real. I actually found the club very forgiving. There were a, a few shots, like we all are human, that I hit out on the toe, a few into the heel, but um, the club was very forgiving. There was not a whole lot of fall off and distance when we didn't hit the center of the face. This club is very workable because it is forged. A forged club will keep the ball on the face a few milliseconds longer, which lets you actually spin it left or right. So I found the ability to work the ball left and right very easy, like any other forge club. I didn't really feel for the target player that there's much of a downside to this club. In fact, normally a club like this does not appeal to a lot of players because it's a little bit smaller head, but this particular club, because they've built in the features that make it more forgiving and playable, I don't see any downsides. It's long, it spins, it feels great. Uh, they've built a great product here. The look at a dress on this club is very, very traditional. Um, they've also redone the back of the club this year to make it look like a more traditional muscle back. What I did find to be nice about this club, even though it does look like a player's iron, is that the sole is a little bit wider. So that gives you a little bit more margin for error on different types of grass. And so, as you can see, it's not a very thin sole like a lot of blades are. So it adds forgiveness on the sole as well. First impressions were it's long. It's definitely long. It's longer than the irons I'm playing right now. Um, I probably saw 10 yards extra per club. It's, it's a lower trajectory. So you're gonna get a lot more rollout. Uh, we also saw lower spin numbers in testing. So it's not gonna grab as much, but you're definitely gonna see more distance. It's gonna roll and it's gonna fly. I also noticed I really like the look. I think uh, clubs in general, but definitely this Cobra Forge Tech model has simplified the design, created a more just uniform piece in the head, really liking the clean look over the top and in the bag. It looks like a great iron. So with the foam microspheres and the hollow body design, you get a lot of distance and you don't have the same ballooning feel or the same impact feel. It felt really smooth, really soft off the face, but not that trampoline um, feeling you get from game improvement irons. It felt comfortable, cut through the turf really nicely. Workability with this club was surprisingly good. I, I would say when I, when I struck it the way I wanted to and I, and I made impact at the center of the face, I was able to shape the ball. That being said, when you do miss the face, it does sort of just go straight. So if you're trying to work a shot, you need to be a confident ball striker. If you do miss the face, it's not going to be as workable as you may want. Whether you see it as a downfall for a seven iron, I did not see the height that I normally see from a seven iron. So if you're a player that already hits it low, maybe lean toward an, toward an iron that has a higher launch. These are definitely gonna be a low launching, mid to low ball flight. For the speeds for this iron, um, very standard to what I'm used to, to see. Seven iron was right around 100 miles per hour club head and uh, 130, 135 ball speed, which is right where I see it. Players distance irons shoot off the face a little bit. Um, again, I think this has more rollout than speed. With the same, with all the flight patterns we're seeing with this club, lower spin, it's gonna, it's gonna stay low. 
Uh, spin causes the ball to sort of raise up in the air, and, and this was definitely a lower flight, lower spin club, and that's gonna allow for the more rollout and more distance. Again, it's not gonna grab on the greens as some irons might. There are two sides to uh, how people might view the, the, the look of this club. It has a thin top line, so that might scare away some higher handicaps. I also don't think it's thin, as thin of a top line as some of the really good players might like in a blade or some sort of that iron. It's right in that middle sweet spot where I think a lot of golfers fall anywhere from your higher single digit handicaps to 15 maybe up there. Uh, this is a great looking, comfortable club to hit. Compared to some other irons that have hit recently, this doesn't have a ton of feel. It's it's a little bit muted uh, and the sound, same thing. It's, it's a muted sound. It doesn't have that loud, powerful thwack that you sort of look for in some of these players distance irons. That being said, the performance uh, might outweigh some of the sound and feel. The biggest drawback to this iron is gonna be the low ball flight. If you need to get up and over something in the long way to the green or you just tend to play a lower ball flight in general, this, this club won't get the ball up in the air as fast as others will. Spin numbers as well, if you need to play a green that you want it hit the ball and have it stop and land on the green or just roll out at five yards, this is gonna have a lot more rollout and you might need to play for that. I would recommend this club to anyone between a you know higher single digit handicap, somewhere around seven to eight, to up to 15. It's got a wide range of people who might enjoy it. It's clean looking, so if you like a club that looks good in your bag, um, as well as long. If you're looking for more distance, this club is for you. Someone that might want to avoid this club would be someone looking for a lot more forgiveness, looking for just a straight higher ball flight, or someone looking for a club with more spin. And if you'd like to chat with me personally to get you fit for the right gear for you, uh, please visit the link in the description and find my profile on curated.com. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button for more content from Curated.